You know, Genesis chapter 30, at least for me, is one of those chapters in the Old Testament that are so interesting. I mean, in chapter 30 of Genesis, we see this story, this account given for how Jacob's family and his wealth begins to grow. I mean, if you know your Old Testament, if you know your Bibles, you know that Joseph had 12 sons, where we get the 12 tribes of Israel, and that his wealth grew in this chapter in kind of a kind of an interesting way. And I don't believe that in Genesis chapter 30, we're given a description that's necessarily a prescription for how to grow your family or how to grow your wealth, but it simply describes what happened. And one of the things it describes I find so interesting, it's in the first couple verses of chapter 30. It's from Jacob's wife, Rachel. Listen to what she says. Rachel saw that she wasn't having any children for Jacob. She became jealous of her sister pleaded with Jacob, give me children or I'll die. And Jacob became furious with Rachel. He says in verse two, am I God? He asked, he is the one who has kept you from having children. I find it so interesting in this chapter, like I mentioned that it's, it's very descriptive and very revealing of the different choices, decisions, attitudes, that are not necessarily condoned by scripture. Polygamy, thievery, any of these things are not condoned by scripture, but are shown in scripture as what happened. And we see that Rachel has this perspective, a faulty one, here in chapter 30 of the first couple verses, that she was seeking to put her trust, her value, her worth in something other than her identity in God. She tells Jacob, you give me children lest I die. She was looking to someone else or something else to find her fulfillment. And it reminds me of the words of Jesus. You see, in the Gospel of Matthew, Jesus gives what's commonly known as the greatest sermon ever, the Sermon on the Mount. And listen to Jesus' words about this kind of mentality on life, looking to someone or something to find fulfillment and peace. He says in Matthew chapter 6, verse 033, Seek the kingdom of God above all else, and live righteously, and he will give you everything you need. You see, in Genesis chapter 30, it's like Rachel and her sisters and all these different women that give an account in chapter 30 are in this ever-ending race of competition, looking for fulfillment, looking for validation but I believe the words of Jesus are so appropriate for today. Listen, don't look to anyone or anything else to validate who you are. Look to Jesus. And what should we do with our time? Seek first his kingdom. Trust that he'll add everything to your life that he desires for your life that will bring good to your life. So today, as you read Genesis chapter 30, be reminded, not everything in the Old Testament that is descriptive is prescriptive but it reveals to us our great need, our need to know God and to follow him in everything we do. So like Jesus said, seek first the kingdom today, trust him, follow him, and Jesus will take care of everything you need in life.